Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Virgo for the first half of December. We're going to pull several messages and see what comes through for you, what you need to know, what's happening. Please do keep in mind, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. So stick around, let's find out what's going on. Virgo, what's happening? Oh, this is your card right here. We have door to value. Nice. Okay. We have patience. And we have first chakra. Archangel Michael is coming through. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, start clarifying with this door to value. Clearly, there's a... Um, New opportunities coming up for you to make more money. I get that. And look at that. Temperance is coming through. It's interesting that the next card you have in this deck here is Patience, which Temperance does talk about Patience. So those messages could be very connected for you, but we'll find out. Oh, look at that. Nine of materials. That's financial independence. Oh, wow, four of materials in reverse. Look at this. Four of materials upright is financial lack, is being on a budget, is being on a very tight budget, holding on to all you have. In reverse, is opposite of that. This is you coming out of that situation. <laughs> Your cards are very much in line, very much in line today. What I'm getting is that absolutely your financial situation is improving here you are coming into a position where you will be financially independent you will you will feel free when you will not have to budget every cent in your uh, pocket that's what i'm getting here door to value there is a door opening up for you that is bringing more finances but i must say with this temper card it, it will take a little bit more time it will take a little bit more time you have to be patient i feel like you're going to have several options i feel like you will have several options and you will have to make certain decisions here to go for what is right for you to basically take an opportunity that is right for you but this four materials in reverse absolutely you come into a better financial situation you're coming to a financial situation where like i said you will not have to rely on the limited savings that you have you will actually have to spend more on yourself and to be able to save and to feel free financially here with this strengths in reverse though i will say that again it's going to take a lot of inner strengths for you to be patient and to make the right choice for those door to open wait do not make any rash decisions do not make any rash decisions at this time you will have several options think them through and make sure that you choose the right door for yourself i do see this happening for you absolutely there is definitely an opportunities that are coming up for you that will bring you more money more finances it's very very clear here but patience is very much needed this is what i see don't give up with the strengths in reverse do not give up it is coming yes it is taking time but the message is very clear do not give up do not give up find that inner strength to wait and see and persevere and that door will open for you all right let's go ahead and clarify this patience what is that here for what is that patience here for My gosh, look at this. Didn't I say these messages are connected? And look what we're getting here. Three of materials and ten of materials. Materials are pentacles in a more a traditional tarot deck, which basically is money. So yes, absolutely money is coming for you. Very prosperous time. Wow. And page of inspiration. Inspiration, those are wands. That talks about career. Wow, your messages are just so in line today. This is it. <laughs> Beautiful. I love this. 
with patience you will get exactly what you want in your financial world i get it super super strong you will get a career that you dreamt about from your childhood for some of you this is something creative for some of you this is something that is connected to your talents whatever you've been dreaming to become when you were a child when you were <laughs> little whatever you were dreaming about that is the career that is going to lead to that financial abundance of yours yes you need to be patient. And I feel like you have been patient already. And I do feel that it has been taken quite a while because this is something, like I said, that you've dreamt about since your childhood, since you were a little kid. And uh, there is a lot of creativity that's somehow connected to this uh, project or whatever that you want to do. And yes, the time with time, with time, with patience, you are going to build up your financial stability doing what you truly love to do i feel like you will find people that will be very supportive in your past i feel like it's not just you i feel like you're collaborating with others you might have you might even be working with your childhood friends here for some of you i feel very strong energy of you working either with your siblings or somebody that you know from your childhood like you've been together for a very 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 long time you have same goals you have same ideas you have similar talents and yes it is working out for you look at this 10 of materials everybody comes together around this prosperous prosperous tree of money that is your future that is coming in for you with patience absolutely beautiful wow i love that for you virgo this is amazing and we have our Kento michael here now first chakra let's find out what this is all about this is um being grounded this is that stability as well wow and we have news of materials again this is your financial stability we're talking about here and night of voices this is amazing <laughs> and we get the sun the sun is the happiest card in the deck as far as i'm concerned absolutely beautiful look at this you are coming into financial stability there is such happy beautiful prosperous times ahead of you this is what's happening you are taking the journey to financial abundance you are on the journey already and you're getting so much closer there is news coming your way there's good news coming your way in your financial world very happy news the news that will just make you jump from joy here night of emotions night of uh, voices you're working with other people you're working with other people who are very supportive you're working with the people that are on the same page with you you're working with the people where you you all you all coming on the same path to the beautiful financial abundance here groundness making sure that you are taking care of your stability right now that's what's important to you and do call upon archangel michael he is protecting you right now he is right there behind you leading you and making sure that you are staying on that right path this is the time of financial prosperity for you that's what's in the cards that all the messages are very much connected at least in this portion of the reading here you're coming into a great financial stability and what I love about it the most is that you're going to do that by doing exactly what you love to do. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and pull some coffee cup oracle cards. Let's see what else we can get here for Virgo. Oh my God, did you just see this card flying out of the deck? And it's fish. Fish is money. Abundance. Abundance is coming your way. I don't know if you can see that clearly here. Abundance. Abundance and luck fish is money that's what's coming to you this is exactly what's coming to you we have a cat energy whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I have to keep these and that's the other card. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, get a, a little bit of uh, tarot on here. These cards came together. They were meant to be together. There is success that is coming your way. And I don't know if you can see this clearly. There is success here. And yes, success is in money. There is financial success that is coming your way. This reading has just been so clear about this. For those of you who've been 
Oh my god, look at this. Ten of Cups, the happiest card in the deck when it comes to Minor Arcana. You had the Sun, the happiest card in the deck when, in general, in my opinion. And Ten of Cups, that's happiness and stability and abundance in Minor Arcana and joy. Cups talk about emotions, very positive emotions. That's beautiful. You're going to be so happy about this changes that are coming your way you're overcome oh my gosh you're overcoming your competition you're winning something here look at this six of pentacles money 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 that's it look at this five five Fives bring changes. There is changes that are coming your way when it comes to the success in your financial situation here. These changes is going to bring a lot of happiness to you. They're going to bring a lot of joy. This is going to be uh, you um, being able to take care of your family, being able to plan a family, being able to um, maintain your home or buy a new home here. Just a lot of joy and happiness that you actually get from this financial abundance that is coming your way. You have overcome some sort of competition. There is competition uh, around you. And I feel like for a long time, for a long time, it wasn't working out. <laughs> We've seen that patience energy that is needed. And th this is again that reminder, be patient. There is these two cups right behind you. They're right here for you that you will soon get to know about. Don't look at the past. Don't look about what is spilled. Be patient. It's coming. It's right here for you. It is right here. Five, five, change is coming. Uh, six of pentacles. You, you will definitely have enough for yourself and enough to share with others. There is generosity energy that is coming through. I do feel that once you come into this abundance, this financial success, you will also share with others. You, there is a lot of energy of gratitude, being grateful for what you have. So stop looking at the past. Be patient because it's right here for you. Right here. This is what I get. All right, let's see what is this cat energy here for. There is some jealousy. Of course there is jealousy. <laughs> when you do so well, it could definitely be people jealous. Oh, that. Okay, let's see what's happening. It's jealousy in the workplace. It's jealousy among your colleagues. It's jealousy in the, uh, among the people where, uh, uh, that you work with or you used to work with. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. Okay, yes, I can see this. It's weighing heavy on you. It's weighing heavy on you because these people could be gossiping behind your back. That people could be saying something and it somehow comes to you through the third party here. And I do feel that it's the energy that is keeping you awake at night. You feel like you are stuck in this and you don't know how to get out of it. I do feel that you will be able very much to get out of it. The Hermit suggests say, stay aside. Do not get yourself involved in any of this gossip. Do not get yourself involved with these people at all. Stay aside. Stay true to yourself. Yes, it might feel a little bit lonely a little bit here because, you know, like you want to be able to communicate with your colleagues and that. And you can, but do not get yourself involved in this negative energy here. That's the suggestion. With the Queen of Cups, there will be somebody here that will support you. There is somebody here that supports you. Yes, there is some people that are jealous and they're gossiping and you know, they're trying to distort you and you know give you a little bit of this anxious energy here. But there is somebody who's very supportive and that's the person who matters. That's the queen. Doesn't have to be gender specific, but that's the person who cares. That's the person who is supportive of you. And that's the person who ultimately makes decisions here. Not the people that are just here on the same level, no. There is somebody who will help you get through this. Just stay away from any negative energy. And yes, detach yourself from this. But this hermit energy, that's an energy of detaching. Detach yourself from this gossip and jealousy. Don't get yourself involved. And do know that you have support of the right person on your side. Okay, let's see what is this triangle all about. Triangle, what is that about? What is this triangle here? What is that about? The magician. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, okay. <laughs> Who are all these people? Who are all these people? What I'm getting here is that um, there is some choices that you have to make here. There is definitely some choices. There are several people around you. There could be a, um, a water sign. There is a very, very strong energy of an air sign. So there could be two different people coming towards you. They want to socialize. They want to talk to you. I get messages. I get communication. I feel like um, they're trying to kind of manifest you into their life. They want to connect with you. They want to chat with you. They want to date you. I get that. But I feel like there is this energy of you being a little bit indecisive. What, uh, who do you want to um, connect with? I feel like you will be uh, talking to more than one person. There is a triangle here. There is three people and I feel like you are in the middle. You're going to make a decision here. There is choices here. There is choices here for you. You're choosing between two people. But this magician energy here, I feel like you're just being very attractive. There is, you For those of you who are manifesting love in your life, do know that you will attract at least two people here. This is what I see. And you will have to kind of balance a little bit for a while and just uh, talk to them, communicate with them, and see who's the right person for you. That's what I, uh, what I hear here. Uh, you will be in this energy of choosing for quite a while. Um, eventually, of course, you will make a choice, but I don't necessarily see it happening in the first half of December. In the first half of December, I feel you're weighing your options. You're trying to weigh your options. You could be pouring your energy to both. You know, I'm not saying that you're doing anything behind anybody's back. No, you're just dating around. You're talking to two people. There's only conversations here. There's only chats. There's only energy of getting to know each other. And I feel that's what you're going to be doing here. With this magician, you have all the tools you need and you will eventually get all the information you need to make the right choice for yourself. That's what I'm getting here. But yes, first half of December, there is definitely three people here. There is that triangle energy and you are right in the middle of it. Look out for a water sign. Look out for um, an air sign. An air could be an Aquarius. Um, could be also a Gemini here. It doesn't have to be the sun sign. It's just the energy of the cards. But I do see two people and they're looking in the same direction. They're looking at you and they will be chaining you up. <laughs> This is what I'm getting. These are the messages that came through today for you. I truly hope that this reading was helpful. And do let me know in the comments if you felt like this resonated with you in any way. Of course, that's if you feel comfortable commenting. Thank you for being here. For those of you who are celebrating holidays, happy holiday season. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.